surgery update so it all started eight months ago November 9 2009 today is um, I'm a day late so today is July 10th 2010 so my highest weight while going through the bariatric program was 288 pounds the day of surgery I was 274 pounds and today I am a whopping 178 pounds so that means I have lost 110 pounds from my highest weight and 96 pounds from the day of surgery in eight months thanks to my lap band um, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was actually give you uh, four tips that I know to be true without a doubt at this point in my journey and the first one is accountability is vital for me my accountability system for uh, my lap band is you all on YouTube in the weight loss uh, surgery community so I have uh, committed to making at least one video where I'm giving an update on my progress a week as well as um, one additional video whether it be a uh, recipe or a video response or just talking and sharing something that's on my heart and one thing about that is I do not want to be in a place where I am week in and week out coming on to report uh, news that's not so great so um, for me you know this really acts as um, accountability that helps me push forward and make sure that I'm meeting my goals so when I talk about goals and I um, sort of put their put them out there on the table um, it's just something inside of me that knows that I need to um, commit to doing it um, and being true to whatever it is that I'm saying that I'm going to do so accountability is vital if you don't have an accountability system in place I highly recommend that you um, get one whether it be here making videos whether it be with your husband wife um, dietitian surgeon friends somebody sit down and talk to somebody about whatever your goals are and then make sure that you check in with them on a regular basis to let them know how you're tracking towards meeting those goals the second thing is following your rules so the day um, that I was discharged from the hospital which is the next day after I had surgery I was given a list of 10 rules to follow and at some point I think maybe two weeks post-op I made a video of what those 10 rules were so that I can always sort of um, be able to see myself talking about those rules and I also wanted to share the rules with um, everybody else so um, and, and in fact when I got back from vacation a few weeks ago and had gained some weight I pulled up that video and watched it and I actually took some notes because um, I can't find my original paper uh, it's in my office here somewhere one day I'll find it but I looked at the video took some notes got my focus back um, and I've been good since so anyway you know whatever the rules are that your surgeon gave you in addition to looking around and trying to figure out what other people's goals are as well and incorporate some of those as needed so following the rules is the second tip the third tip is knowing and believing that you can do this um, and I think it's really important that we believe in ourselves and that we don't get um, defeated you know if we get off track if we should happen to, to gain some weight if we should happen to not drink all our water or eat poorly or whatever the case may be make sure that you're not um, allowing yourself to feel defeated 
Uh, you know, I say it time and time again, if there's um, a little derailment, look back over the situation, try to figure out what went wrong, learn from it, and keep on pressing forward and believing in yourself. Know that you can do it. You can lose the weight. Um, and the last thing is listen to your body. I think it's very important to listen to your body because your body will um, be honest and it'll tell you. It'll let you know when you're hungry, really. And not just, you know, your head is thinking that you're hungry. But your body will really let you know when it's hungry. It will grumble. You will feel gas pains. Um, you'll know when you're really hungry. Um, and you'll also know when you're full. When you're eating and you've had enough, listen to your body. Uh, pay attention to what your body feels like. Make sure you're in a quiet place when you're eating and you're not talking too much and taking in too much air that's filling your pouch. Um, really pay attention to your body. I've learned to do that. And at this point, I know when I've had enough. Excuse my dog. She's going crazy in the background. So listening to my body is um, very important and I think vital to my success. Um, and then, you know, with that, know that when you don't have any restriction and when you need some help and when you need some fluid in your band, don't suffer through. Like I said in my last video, I'm not going to sit here and suffer through um, knowing that I know what it feels like to be at the proper level of restriction and to have my band working with me. And now I know what it feels like to be on the other side of it and I don't necessarily like this feeling. So I'm listening to, to my body in that regard and I'm taking steps and actions and I have an appointment to get that situation better. Anyway, I am down 18 points from my highest BMI. I am still considered overweight but that's fine and dandy with me because I'm not obese anymore. Um, thinking about changing that goal weight uh, of 170 which is what I initially set for myself. I'm 8 pounds away from that enjoying my band, loving my journey, and thankful that you all are on this journey with me. Best wishes to everybody else um, and your success on your journeys, and I will see you guys later.